Welcome to the Unity Terrain Basics series. In this video, we will look at how to add grass, rocks, and other details onto our terrain tiles. Let's begin. For the demonstration, I will be using the Unity Standard Assets and this rock package. Both of them are available for free on the Unity Asset Store. Painting grass and details onto a terrain tile is very similar to painting textures and planting trees. We first select a tile, and from the inspector, we're going to select the fourth tab, that is Paint Details. Scrolling down, we see a list here, and if we click on the Add button, there are two options, Detail Mesh and Grass Texture. Detail Mesh allows us to import 3D meshes, and we can instantiate them directly onto the terrain. Grass texture is similar, except that it is a 2D texture instead of a 3D mesh. Let's first look at Detail Mesh. For Detail Mesh, we get to specify a detail prefab. From the rock package that I imported, there are numerous rocks available. Let's choose one of them. And we can see that it says LOD group component is not supported. The reason for this is that if we inspect this particular rock, we can see there are actually three child objects. This is called an LOD group or level of detail group. LOD is a performance optimization technique that as the camera moves away from the object, the mesh is going to be less detailed, hence saving performance. To solve this issue, we have to click inside the prefab and pick one of these meshes. Say I will select LOD0 and drag it out to form a new prefab. So now we have a prefab that is not an LOD group. This way we can directly add it back to the terrain tile. We can choose the align to ground percentage using a slider, as well as setting the minimum and maximum width and height accordingly. The noise simply adds some randomness to the spawning process. I'll leave all of these options by default. Clicking the Add button, and now this rock has been added. Again, we can set the target density that specifies how many rocks will be spawned at a time. We just click onto the tile, and a bunch of rocks will be spawned. Adding rocks and details is extremely easy with the terrain system. Let's try to add some grass. When adding a grass, we have to specify a 2D texture. From the Unity Standard Assets, there are some grass textures already available. Let's choose this. Again, we can adjust the minimum and maximum height and width for the grass, and also some noise settings. Down here, we have a healthy color and dry color. The billboard settings, I will leave it as enabled. And let's add it to the terrain. Now we have two items available in this list. We can see that there are two check marks. That means when we click on the tile, both of these will be spawned. If I want to spawn the grass only, I have to uncheck the rock. This way, only the grass will be painted. We can also see that the grass is being affected by the wind. If we check both the rock and the grass, we can specify the density for both of them. That means the chance of spawning a rock can be made lower or higher within one click.
and we can see more grass is being spawned than a rock. To remove details, we simply hold down the shift key and click on the terrain. All the details within the brush area will be erased. The next thing I want to explain is the wind settings for grass. In the fifth tab, that is terrain settings, down here we have a section called wind settings for grass. This is where we can control how the wind affects the grass. By increasing the speed of the wind, the grass will shake more violently. We can also adjust the bending, that means how much the grass will bend when being blown by the wind. We may also adjust the grass tints, and it simply makes the grass shine over time. Next, we have to look at the tree and detail objects. This area controls some of the performance settings. We can specify how far away that the details and trees will begin to fade away. This is all made to save performance because we don't want to render too many things when the game is running. When we decrease the detail distance, only the closer ones will be rendered. Similar for trees, when we reduce the tree distance, only trees that are close enough will be rendered. We can fine-tune these values to achieve better performance. I've been working on a lot of driving games, and the map is extremely large. I often have to use trees and details to populate the terrain. However, as the number of objects and meshes increase, it is going to cost a lot of performance. That is why I need to fine-tune these values to obtain the right balance between quality and performance. That is basically how we work with grass and details for our terrains. I'm Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned!